Hey guys, Shock here from Shocky Tech Head. In today's video, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna show you guys how to transfer your WhatsApp messages from one Android phone to the other. Now, this right here is my current smartphone. Here I have the WhatsApp active. This one is gonna be my new Android smartphone. WhatsApp, as you can see, is not active. That also means my SIM card is in this phone right now. So the very first step you wanna take is obviously on your old phone. All you wanna do is you wanna go into your WhatsApp messages, then you wanna tap on the button on the top right, and then go into the settings. Once you are in the settings, you wanna go into chats, okay? And then at the bottom, you can see we have a chat backup option. You tap on this one, and basically what you need to know is all the backup actually gets backed up to a Google account, so you are gonna need your Google account, your Gmail account. I have the option to back it up right now, but if you don't see this, you do wanna go down here and you want to add a Google account to your chat backup settings. So in my case, I have it right now, backing up to this Google account. And also what you wanna do is you want to choose one of these guys. So you can do backup to Google Drive, you can do daily, weekly, or monthly to make sure you never lose any data. And right before you start the transfer process, you wanna do the backup. And also if you wanna include the videos, you want to include this as well. So it is gonna get all the photos, but it's not gonna get the videos if you do not press this button. So once you press this button, it's gonna tell you how many megabytes are gonna be uploaded to your Google account to Google Drive. And then you tap on backup. Look at that, it says back up, backing up the messages, that's 100% and then it's gonna start backing up the actual video. Uh, total backup size is going to be 225 megabytes, as it says right there. So I did just cancel the backup. It is not necessary for me to do it right now. So now what I'm gonna do is my next step is gonna be to take my SIM card from this phone and transfer it to my new phone. I'm gonna do it physically. You might have eSIM, you can do it electronically, but in my case, I'm gonna physically transfer my SIM card from this phone to this phone. And also, you wanna make sure you install the WhatsApp application on the new phone so you can see this menu right here. I'm gonna be right back after I switch the SIM card. All right, so I've transferred my SIM card to the new phone right here, and I'm gonna quickly show you guys, if I go to my WhatsApp over here, you can see I did complete the full backup. So the full backup is now 311 megabytes into my Google account and the backup itself gets saved to Google Drive. So I'm done with this phone right here. I'm just gonna go back out here. Now I'm gonna launch the WhatsApp over here. Okay, I'm gonna tap on agree and continue. After you choose your language, then you dump in your phone number, your phone number that is now on this phone because I just put in the new SIM card. So once you put in your Phone number, you tap on next. It should ask you for confirmation. You tap on okay, and it's gonna request a code. Now in many instances, it's gonna say, use your other phone to confirm moving WhatsApp to this one. Now on my other phone, I'm gonna see a code that's gonna pop up just like this one. WhatsApp registration code requested. I'm gonna tap okay, and it's gonna show up right here. I'm gonna be able to grab this code and put it right here. So let me do that right now, 398, and that's gonna be verifying it. And here it says your phone number is no longer registered with WhatsApp on this phone, so this phone is no good. But it's also gonna tell you we have found a backup. That transfer process makes sure that the phone finds a backup, okay? So from here, all you do is you tap on restore. You can skip this and you can still do it, but I'm just gonna do a restore right now. That's gonna start to restore your messages, your videos, and all your media, and you are going to be good to go. Now, if you tap on skip by mistake, it's not the end of the world, okay? So when you tap on next, and if I tap back into WhatsApp, I can set my profile information and all that stuff. It's gonna initialize it. Everything is being restored. But like I said, if you skip by mistake, you always go back to the settings over here. Okay, go back into the chats, uh, chat back up, and you can restore it from here as well. But that's it, so it says restoring media is paused because I'm not charging my phone, I'm only at 15%, so make sure your phone is charged 
or connect it to a charger and that's going to make sure the restoration process works with no issues let me plug it in so you can see it in real time so i'm going to plug the charger at the bottom here and immediately you'll see if i tap on refresh it's going to start the uh, restoration process by downloading the data from google drive and once that's done you're done any questions comments or concerns drop them down below let me know for now guys have a fantastic day all right